As a realtor, we all have climbed that watch HGTV and they see their dream home. I want to show you how we make the dream reality. And the truth is there is so many ways to do it. Good morning! Good morning! This is for you! Say thank you! Hello. Say Hello. hi! What a beautiful! Oh my gosh! Transformation! Yes. This is beautiful! We all added. it was here, this and a piece of wood on the top of it. Yeah. That's all it was. Wow! This is yeah. looks so good. You, you did the floor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because floor. I remember it had it was broken. broken, and, broken and, and, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> wow. I love yeah. this. I love this. Yeah. The more that you read, the more things you will know, the more that you learn, the more places you will go. So now you know if you want to go places, you gotta read. When you guys started hunting for houses, did you yes. ever guess that you would be kind of remodeling one to make it your own? No. I have an I idea. Didn't. Like, well, I was going to end up having to fix something. <laughs> we have both different ideas. Yeah. Her idea was a turnkey. Yeah. Like, just yeah. move in already. The houses that I was trying to see was the ones that were okay. already done right. and everything. Mm -hmm. And we figure out is there is a kind of loan yeah. you can get a rehab loan. Yeah. And that's when. My seller, Alex and Vivian, decided to, okay, we can put up this one for sale. And we said, okay, let's look at the number and see if we can get a 203K FHA. Mm -hmm. So you end up with lowering the price, yeah. Yeah. lower the payment, mm -hmm. and make it our way. Oh, your yeah, own. Our way. Yeah. 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 We stood here, me and her, and, and she goes, Nahid, I just <laughs> don't know. This so we stood yeah. there. I Googling kitchen and I said, can you imagine? We can do this, we can do that. Because on the 203K, we have to have a contractor licensed, bonded, enough liability insurance for FHA to approve it. Mm -hmm. Ozzy's friend was a contractor licensed, bonded. His paperwork was correct. It was, it was just what we needed. And Ozzy and Stephanie got their beautiful home local. So, yeah, uh, we decided to stay here because this is where we grew up and we want our kids to grow up here too. And, and we couldn't do it without you too, Nahi, because it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot and you helped yeah. us a lot. And, and I know that's why I tell my sister, your turn, your <laughs> turn, because yeah. we do recommend you to. You know, I think that's something that not other realtors, at least the ones we dealt with, all they care about, oh yeah, look at the house. And then, no, you know, yeah. they you just want the sale, like care. the sale, sale. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Like, that thank really you so means much. The thank you. to me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Chris, did you have a chance to print out the prelims so I can ask Jeff a few questions on it, please? Yeah, Jeff, so that's actually what, it, what we wanted to ask you about. What is the geographic targeting order? How do we get that released? Oh, okay, so that's, that's a government mandate. Um, and what that is is all title companies have to follow the rules on this. The government's asking for more information on where the money's coming from. So the only thing you would have to do, the title unit will actually contact you and let you know if they need more information about the buyer and where that cash is coming from. I'm actually going to stop you guys really quick. I think it's best if we actually tell the audience what exactly is title, why is it so important, and where did it originate from? Fair enough. I would say title insurance actually, believe it or not, goes all the way back to 1876. Uh, it does two things. If you're buying a home, you want to know that that person actually owns the home. The fraud aspect of it is I could be one person on title trying to sell the property uh, when I need my wife on title as well. Uh, and then it protects you from liens. Uh, anything that you would be responsible for after taking possession of the home, you'd be responsible for any liens attached to that property. So for example, let's say somebody wants to buy their neighbor's house. Right. So it would be their best interest to get title insurance. For sure. Yeah, because they might feel like they know their neighbor, right? right? And it's, it's Chris and I, and I say to Chris, I'll give you 
Chris says, you know what? I'll sell this house for, it's valued at 400,000, but I'll sell it to you for 150 because we're friends, right? Okay. I'd say, that's great. I know you, I trust you, we're good to go. We signed a deed right. and I believe that the house is mine, but let's say there's $300,000 worth of liens that he's left on the property that I don't know about that I would have found out if I got insured, right? So I'm not protected from anything that's attached to that property once I deed the property to myself. So if car insurance protects you from the accident, that could happen tomorrow. Title insurance is kind of protecting you. From everything, from every previous owner. Okay. Uh, it runs past to the past. Obviously it's running with as long as you own your home. So it is kind of technically in the future as well. But in the past, there could have been multiple owners that one person could say, I still have a claim to the property because I never intentionally sold this property. Okay. And they could have proof thereof. And if we missed it, then our insurance would actually protect you from that. You're, you're, if we insured you, you are the current owner. So anything in the past you protect, but let's say they moved in and they created something new on their own, that's not being protected by the title insurance because they are the knowledge of that and that would have to be taken care of by that. When new you say created owner. something new, like a new deed? Yeah, and they're uh, it a new lien, that new um, owner created a new lien on yes, the property. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, that okay. lien would be still their, their own lien because it's not, it's not before they owned it. Got it. Got yes, it. correct. Yeah. Okay, awesome. awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Let's go of back course. to my office. Thank Thanks, Chris. So this is the one, Mom, that Dad just picked up. It does not okay. look like much at all. Not so far. I think it's, it's a little over 1,600 square feet. Okay. And it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it needs a shit ton of love. Wow. This is the first time I'm seeing it, and it is a fixer rubber. This is the weirdest one. Oh, man. Okay, so the floor is shot. Okay. It would be nice to keep the floor to kind of rehab, but I don't even know if it's in the kind of shape to be able to keep. You walk through the kitchen, living room. Okay, wow. Very 1970s. Wow, wow. Okay, and this is a family room. Whoa. Kitchenette. Oh, Lord have mercy. You gotta look past this. Yes, You gotta yes. look past the smell. Well, you get to look past a whole lot of things, not just the smell. Well, let me show you the backyard because I think okay. they used to have chickens or some sort of animal. Okay. So I think if we wanted to convert the garage, the city would allow you because you have this built already. It is. Norwalk required a parking structure and this is would be considered a parking structure. So let me ask you because I never saw Stephanie and Ozzy's house when they bought it. Okay. It was this bad? Oh no, absolutely not. It was totally cosmetic. And what we were able to do, uh, FHA 203K, which on an FHA 203K, there is a certain amount they can add it to the loan for rehab. And that's exactly what we've done for them. So if you can't go FHA, uh -huh. What's like, what's the other way to be able to do this? The other way it would be a conventional loan. And with the conventional loan, you can go in with a small down payment. And of course, depending on the circumstances and they might require you move into the property as owner occupied. And then you keep the rest of your money so you can rehab the property and make it your dream home. So when we're watching HGTV, like okay. Property Brothers, Fixer Upper, mm -hmm. Flip or Flop, what do you think, how are they doing it? Um, the flip-flop is literally all cash investors. They come in, fix it up, do all the cost, holding cost, and then from there, put it back on the market, make a profit, and here it is. They have the okay. money in their they pocket. They have the money it. in their pocket or or they get a loan, hard yeah. money loan. Same thing. Property brother, they live in it. So I don't know the circumstances, but I'm assuming they are able to get in with a smaller down payment and then they're keeping the money to rehab the property. That's and that's using. how they are able to um, to do it. And that's what we've been doing for the past 30 years. Yeah. Figuring out which property would suit us best, if it would be best to keep it as a rental or it be best to um, flip it. Flip it. Yeah. This is the next project. Yep, it sure is.
You know, I really am super excited for this flip. I think it's gonna be a great project. But even more than that, I'm so happy you guys are still looking for them and growing and working so hard. And everybody's recognizing it. Margo and Rob mentioned it. Yeah. Stephanie and Ozzy mentioned it. You guys are just still pushing the boundaries. Well, honestly, if I would summit all of that, I would say consistency is the name of the game. A lot of people come to real estate thinking it's an overnight success. It's absolutely not. Me and dad started in the business 30 years ago. You were not even born. And the little things we do every day, that's why we're here. From waking up at four o'clock in the morning, from getting dressed, even though we don't have an appointment, but we dress as an appointment is coming coming to the office, working six days, even on Saturday, 30 years later, it really shows hard work will pay off. So if I would leave you with one thing, honestly, would be, and really for you and Ness, one thing, it would be consistent and hard work. We can do that. We can do that. Especially hanging out with you every day. I, I think we can do that. <laughs> We're on the way. We're on right? the way. Do you don't Dream have enough? Yes. yes. A lot of my yeah, team. It is, huh? Isn't it? Isn't it? Just life is different. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> That's the one we're gonna use. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>